Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the Nosy Booktuber tag. So this was created by Written in Blood. There are eight questions. I'm going to go through them and then tag some people at the end. So without further ado, question one. How many books have you read this year? Okay, that is a good question, and I'm going to have to go on Goodreads. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. 359 books. So yeah, if I read six more books, that's an average of one a day. That's, that's not bad. Although I have slacked over the last couple of months, but still, that's pretty... I will take that. Question number two, of the books you've read, which is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Well, that'd be telling because I do do my, I do my quarterly favorites videos. And then at the end of the year, I do my overall favorites. However, I would say my favorite so far has possibly been Stoner by John Williams. It's probably either that or The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett. And my least favorite, I don't know. It might it might just be To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf just because it was such a slog and I didn't like enjoy reading it, but I am still glad that I read it. And I probably will read more Wolf in the future. She's just like that. It's it's like it's like reading a headache. Question number 3, do you have a favorite time and place that you like to read? Not really. Um, I tend to read on and off throughout the day as I'm self-employed, so I give myself little breaks. I do like to read on public transport. So, for example, if I'm heading off to visit my mum or something like that, I like to read on the train. That's about it. Oh, and I read before bed as well. Question number four. How many hours per day do you have the opportunity to read? I would guess on average two to three hours per day. Something like that. If you include, again, as I read on and off throughout the day. And like today... I've probably read for about four hours already because I was traveling on the train. So that kind of brings the average up as well. And again, I, I read before bed too. Question number five, do you read only physical books, eBooks or audio books or a combination of either three? So I never read eBooks. I only read uh, physical books for the first read. And then if I want to reread stuff, I generally only ever reread stuff via audio book to make sure that I am constantly still reading new stuff as well, you know? So yeah, that's, an answer I guess question number six what is your main pet peeve when trying to read it's when someone tries to talk to you and they ask you questions and you're like can you not see that I've got a book in my hand my mum does this all the time and I just sort of grunt at her and hope that she doesn't get too offended question seven what is the strangest place you have found yourself reading I read the second half of Doctor Sleep by Stephen King on the streets of London between the hours of about 2 a.m. and 5.45 a.m. because I'd been on a radio show. I'd been on the BBC World Service, uh, but it was at like one o'clock in the morning. And so after that, there was no way to get home. So I just waited for the first train. Question number eight, are you a critical reader or do you read just for enjoyment? I mean, I do both, I would say. I primarily look for books that I'll enjoy, I think. But again, like for example, reading that To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it. But I still wanted to read it. And I'm still, like I say, I'm still glad that I did read it. So I guess I, I am a little bit of both. And it sort of depends because even if I'm just trying to read for enjoyment, sometimes that critical voice comes in and starts to say things. And then I'm like, oh, it's got, it's got a good point. And then I start, you know, thinking about things like a writer. So yeah, those are all the questions. It's pretty short but sweet and I whizzed through it. I've been trying to film videos slightly quicker if I can so that I'm not just waffling for ages. Because I kind of want to try and respect people's time as well, you know? So if I can do a tag nice and quickly, I will. But I am going to tag some people now. So I'm going to tag Hey Little Thrifter, Joel Swagman, Bookish, Todd the Librarian, Stacy Stories, who I'm doing a buddy read with, Madman Reads and Rocks, Brad Proctor, Alan Morton, and you if you're watching and you fancy doing it. So there you have it. That's what I made of the nosy booktuber tag in about five minutes or less. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of my answers in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.